Hello and welcome to Let's Sculpt 4. In this one I'm going to be making a canopy. But before we do that, I want to show you how to make a decent, or a half decent, wood texture on the tree. First thing we need to do is we need to, whoops, colour it. So we'll colour it, uh, don't bother, let's have a look, we'll take it, we'll go, we'll go for that one. A lighter colour, you'll see why in a minute. Oh, sorry. First of all, multi select it. Forgot that bit. That's double tapping X, but don't do it too quickly, it won't work. See, now we've grouped everything together. Don't worry that it's grouped this. This is a separate sculpt, so therefore I can delete it, no problem. So now I've got it all selected, we can paint it that colour. So we've got it all, going to paint it all this colour. Right, so we've got it that colour, but that isn't of great bark texture. First of all, we go into it, we want the secondary colour, the one on the inside, take that to brown and raise the colour amount. You can take it right up if you want. But I take it about take it around halfway, it's a little bit over halfway. Right, so now you've got that that effect. It gives the impression it's got a bit of 3D-ness, you know. And now we'll take the, oh sorry, style, and we'll change the fleck to, I use expressive. I find expressive seems to be best for tree bark. Let's just centre that again. Still all selected, still multi-selected, so that it affects it all. Right, so we've got it down. That's a better texture for a tree, I think. But it all needs to be the texture needs to be facing down and I've just un, have I just yeah right okay, make sure it's all tools now we need the comb tool the comb tool will move the texture in the direction you want so hold and press down right and there you have it half decent texture for a tree I think that I think you'll agree so that's that done now. Unselect it all. We can still delete this. This is a separate sculpt, so don't worry about that. And there you've got a tree with half decent textures on it. Obviously, the upper branches are going to be slightly different because you've only got one direction. You can't do a different direction on every branch when you multi select. But if you wanted to, you could go to every single branch and select each one individually and make the uh, texture go in the right direction. But I don't think we need it. The bottom of the tree is fine. I mean, that's all you're going to really see. So now we need to go to this mode. The thing about this mode is we need to make a canopy. So we'll make it quite big. Plonk it down. Oh. First of all, make sure it's... Uh, on stamp mode. Now blend just a little bit under what we've been using and you'd hard blend. I use hard blend for this. You don't have to. And then you turn this up to almost where it's losing its shape. Just losing its shape slightly. Now you want to be half. Right? I tend to just just misshape it a little bit so that when you soft blend it together it makes it you can have a variety of different shapes you can also flatten it down a fraction like that and it doesn't hurt just to take the middle out a little bit just to make it so that our thinness works take that middle out a bit that's looks bad but that's what you want now you've got a canopy growing the thing is, if you make it all, all this canopy, in sculpt mode, it will cost less than if you went into con assembly mode and then copied it all. I'll show you that in another video, actually. It's an handy thing to know. It's something I only learned in, what, the last month or so. So now we've got this, right? So now we can make a sh rough shape. That there, like that. I want to. 
I don't want it all. And I want it to be broken. I want it to be slightly broken. Obviously up and down a little bit as well. That's why I've got hard blend on. So that it just you, you don't get a, an obvious blend. It looks like the tree canopy is, is has moved a little bit. You can take this round there and join it in with that a little bit. And you can take that there and maybe fill that middle in if you want. So you make that canopy a little bit higher in the middle maybe. Maybe a fraction. You can even increase the size if you want. And take that like that. So now we've got a shape to work with for the whole tree. The thing is I want a separate one on there and the, when you shrink things and grow things it changes the leaf size. It's one thing to bear in mind. I'm not going to be too concerned with that with this. So now we go back to assembly mode and we change the colour obviously. So we'll change the colour to um, Shall I? I'll go for uh, that, that colour there. That yellow. That green, sorry. And the main thing is also now your secondary colour. Make sure this is quite dark. So take it to green and make it darker. Almost, almost black. Gives the impression of shadows. Right, that still doesn't look like a tree. The two flex you can use for this that I find work quite well, but I prefer, I'll show you which one I prefer. But you can still tamper with the looseness and you want the impasto on. We'll get the impasto on now while I'm thinking about it. Take that right up. The looseness as well if you like. I don't know if I really want to do much looseness because you might lose what you want, what you know, the intended effect. That we've got a canopy growing there. They just need the right flex size. That's that type. So there's two I like. One is splat. Depending on what tree you're making. I think you'll agree that looks quite leafy. In fact, I might use splat instead. This is the one I tend to pick. Just because of it. obviously that's very leafy. Right, so they're the two best ones for trees I find, this and this. Everybody's got different opinion. I don't know, I've never tried so many others, let's have a look at the others. I mean, it's a bit spiky, I suppose pine tree would be alright with that one. No idea what this one will do. You know, it would be good for a sort of, uh... yeah, that's alright as well. But this is my go-to for a tree. So now we've got that. And we've got that, that inside colour. I'm going to make it a little darker, I think, the inside colour. Just a little darker. Yeah, why not? Why not? Make it look like complete shadows. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Right, so we've got that. So now we can start moving them around. I want one on here for a start. Because that's my big overhang branch this and move it around a bit there I prefer putting the tree together as in little bits like this I hide that horrible branch because that's how trees grow isn't it they don't it's not like I could make one big one big dome and then do that and cut it all out that's one way of doing it but I prefer doing it like this because I can build it up how I like so now we take this and we turn this a bit more and we put this on this branch here, maybe re lift it up a little bit, just a little bit. Slowly go round the tree like this, oops, it's turned round. You know, flip it like this if you want, but it doesn't really matter, you, the, the shape's quite a mix anyway. So we've got that shape going there, we can take a bit another one here. Turn that round. Maybe uh, you can always orientate it slightly different in that way. Twist and turn just to make it a slightly different angle. Leave a little gap, just a little gap there. That's what you want. Right, just get the rough 
circular shape to start with, then we're going to start building up even more. And yeah, that's a bit of a strange thing, that's not happened many times before. Right. So we're going around in a sort of a spiral and going up. Up the tree. I will fill in the rest of the gaps, but I like to start in a spiral like this just to get just to get the the feeling for it, for the shape of the tree. And then we go around like this. Take the rest out there. See, I've made it the right size and I've just duplicated it because like I said, if you cheat changing the size, you change the you change the actual leaf size too. It doesn't hurt much, but it does sort of ruin the atmosphere a little bit. You see, that's what I like about this. You see, I've got these layers that just gives the impression out. You just see the branches through, but I will change that slightly when I've finished. I'll keep going up and going inwards, obviously. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. <laughs> uh, leaving gaps. It gets easier and easier, obviously, the further you get into the top. And slowly that. That's my overhanging branch. That's quite nice. See, now we need to start looking at it and balancing it off a bit. So this is a little bit. Maybe have that there. Have that overhang in that side so that you break a bit of the uh, line up there as well. Because let's face it, trees are not. Trees don't go at, grow in a dome, do they? Really, they grow in separate clumps. Just flip that. There. How's that looking? It's looking okay. It's a little bit bottom heavy. So we'll start looking at the top now. Like that. And just look. Yep. What's that? This. crazy right and tip it down maybe just to bring up bring that gap in we're getting there we're getting there slowly see that's quite a nice tree canopy that's a lot here it's a little bit top heavy there I think maybe I want to tip that up a little bit that a little less. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, that one. Turn that off a fraction. This bit here, that goes up. It would be sagging a little bit, I think, because of how heavy it is. So we'll just add a little bit of sagginess there. Just to balance it up. Maybe go a little bit one more. Flip it again. Just to adjust it. Let's have a look how that looks. I like that gap. I like I like this gap. You see. Let's have a look how that's looking. And you keep doing this, obviously, until you're really happy. You don't want it to be perfect. Let's have a look how that looks. Yeah. I think it's nearly ready for release. Don't like that bit at the top. I might just tamper with it a little bit longer. Yeah, this bit here, I think, is a little bit... I think I just need that bit filled in there. Yeah. That's good. I like that. I like this. That could do, I think that's a little bit too big now, actually. Mm, I don't really want to tamper with the size much. Let's have a look. Let's have a look a minute. Just a little. 
me just tamper with the size a bit. I don't think it'll make much difference. Maybe, oh no. Turn that around. Right. And that. Oh, that's my overhanging branch, that's why I put it there. Yeah, turn that in. I can actually afford to go a bit bigger, I think. Let's have a look. How's that coming along? Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that, I think. Looks all round and round. A little bit. It comes out a bit there, doesn't it? I wonder if that's... What's it look like from the bottom? Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do me, I think. And that's my tree finished. You still see that branch there. I'm going to hide that just a tad. When I say touch a little bit, what you do is you hold R1, uh, R2, really gently. That, may, that may enables you to move minutely a tiny bit at a time. And there you go. There's my tree completed. I'm not going to bother lighting it in a particular way. It would look nice to light it. I'll, I'll show you this. I'll show you... Uh, how to push the how to push the fog right back I'll show you do I'll show you how to do that while I'm do I'll just to show this off so we'll uh, stick that down we'll change the Sun give it a bit of I've got studio lights on so you can't see it we'll turn the studio lights off and we'll uh, adjust the Sun give it a bit of shadow on that maybe make the Sun smaller in the sky mm, change the sky type this is how you push the see this is on 1000 by default you can take it all the way up to 10,000 and that's what I always do take it to 10,000 and you can't see the fog when you're in caves and things like that I prefer that so we could take make the horizon you can get rid of the horizon or you can make the horizon more pronounced. You can change the saturation of the sky. Make it blue or red. Ooh, purple's nice. But it's not realistic, is it? For my scene, I'll be using... Oops. I'll be using blue. So that'll do. Take that to a blue sky. You can change the different fleck types, obviously, if you want. That's nice, just because it's messy. This type... That's, that's quite nice. See, that's why I don't like the flex, because of the way they jitter around a lot. That's the re reason it puts me off. Uh, scum bright, brightness, fraction. Who are you? A little bit of a ready you there. Yeah, that's nice. Sunless brightness of the fraction. Sun size, that's just uh, visible, yes. Uh, sun is yellow. Corny, but that'll do. Well, let me try it blue. A bit of a blue flavour to it. Just a tad bit of blue. And there you have it. One completed tree, and I think that's quite a nice tree. It's quite a nice tree. Ooh, okay, just one little thing I need to do first. Just one thing that's bothering me. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit missing. It's just, just here. Woo woo woo. There. There you go. That's it. We've done it. We've finished the oak tree, and I quite like that. I quite like that. I like the gap. I like the gap. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna just gonna fill that in a little bit, just a little bit. But there you are. There's our tree finished at last. So next time I'll be working on the rocks.
<laughs> but there's our tree finished. I will get rid of this. I will get rid of that. And I will publish. Make sure we're all done. We've got everything sorted. Everything is done right. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. And publish. Let's get a nice close to it. And publish. So that everyone can use it if they want it. Right then, let's publish to this version to the public. Yep. Go. Do you want to continue? Yes. So if you want to use my oak tree, it's there. Okay, so thanks for watching. No tip on the end of this one, unfortunately, because the next tip I've got really fits the next tutorial. Not really this one, so I'll wait for that one. And uh, hope you enjoyed this series so far. I'm trying to keep it mild, and it is only for beginners. Obviously, as I progress through it, it's going to become a little bit more advanced, but. If you followed along, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. I enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.